there it was right there on the beach. Amy Smythe Murphy was walking on the beach at Corson's Inlet State Park in Ocean City when she saw something unusual. I noticed it because the bottle is like a really nice aqua. It was early in the morning on July 3rd, and she says the glass bottle, corked with something inside, was right there on the sand. She couldn't wait to tell her 14 year old nephew Jack. We made a group chat. Everyone was like decoding it, looking things up. And her 16 year old niece, Avery. She takes out like a message in a bottle, it has the cork and it has like the message in it. I'm like, like, are you? Joking? Once Amy figured out that she wanted to open up the bottle and try and figure out where it came from, she knew she wanted to document the process. And since she had teenagers handy, they got to help her put all the videos on TikTok. From the uncorking process, which released a stench no one expected, oh to the painstaking removal of the note inside, it's moving. It's moving. to the research that followed. I joined a Reddit group about bottles. Leading Amy to believe the bottle is from 1876, the short note mentioning a yacht based in Atlantic City called the Neptune, along with a business card. Yacht Neptune is a pleasure yacht owned and operated by Captain Sam. Steve Nagowitz of Stockton University has spent decades diving to local shipwrecks and written books about underwater archaeology. He says it's possible recent beach replenishment kicked the bottle up to shore. Getting bottles is always a treasured find, and, and it's not that hard to do that, especially for that that time period where there were a lot of bottles made. Based on Amy's research, she thinks it could be the oldest message in a bottle ever found. She's reached out to the Guinness Book of World Records and is waiting to hear back. I feel like the power of the old and the new, I mean, it's like the only reason I can do this is because of all the technology that we have. They hope to figure out who wrote the note inside and hope social media might connect them to even more answers. It's just like so cool to see all the research she's been doing and just like see everything coming together and like forming like a full story. It's just so cool. Reporting in Ocean City, New Jersey, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News.